Hey everybody out there, YouTubers, Young Dubliner fans and all the rest, it is me returning to the YouTube channel to do something I promised you a long time ago, which was to show you how to make Irish brown bread. As you may know, our Irish trip has been moved again now from November to March 2021, which is way too long to have to wait for pints and Irish brown bread. Pints we can have any time, the brown bread you can only get over there unless you make it here. So I found out how to do it. It's not my recipe. I'm not lying about that. I will show you where I got it from after the video. But you probably know, you know, of a long lineage of chefs in my family. Uh, we've got more Michelin stars than the solar system. And, uh, you know, we're just born to be able to cook. And with this natural ability to taste and not... No, I'm joking. I haven't got a clue what I'm about to do. What you're about to witness is possibly disaster or possibly a flukily wonderful result but if it's a good result I assure you it's an accident because I'm not good at this but I'm going to try and of course I'm wearing my feck off your bollocks apron which you know basically encourages the virus to uh, feck off and of course you can get these on the website be a link here here people do this stuff here here I don't know I'm probably the one that has to put it there so it could be anywhere it could be behind me I have no idea where this link will be but somehow I'll get that information to you the trailer you see in the back is our original old band trailer this will be a whole other YouTube video I've spent uh, a long time making changes to this that I'm going to show you afterwards just so you know I haven't just been lying in bed with the covers pulled over my head bawling the eyes out going let me be a rock player again I want to be a musician although there has been plenty of that as well in case you're wondering down here you see uh, all the ingredients of the brown bread so I think we should probably get into it something's messing with my leg that's what happens in the great outdoors um, let's get into it I should take the glasses off to really focus on what I'm doing here so here we go Irish brown bread with Keith Roberts inspired by a recipe by a wonderful woman whose name I can't remember right now, but I will post it somewhere. Hopefully that you'll see it. All right, let's get stuck in. So here we go. These are the ingredients. We're going to be using a cup and three quarters of buttermilk, which was kind of tough to find for me, but I didn't know they sold it out here, but they do. Trader Joe's everywhere else seem to have it. So buttermilk. I have a baking soda, one teaspoon. I have a teaspoon and a half of salt. I have, and this is a weird one because I don't think we do this in Ireland, but it's tasty. Two tablespoons of molasses and a half a cup of oats. We're going to use two cups of white flour, two cups of uh, wheat flour. And uh, hopefully it's all going to go together and somehow turn into brown bread. Okay. <laughs> I know. I was intrigued to find out what happens as you are. A little cup of coffee from my favorite coffee cup coffee cup that the kid gave me of course I have the strength just to get the you know whatever you need to do this stuff I'm trying to get it right here we go so first things first I'm gonna move my glasses I'm gonna move this stuff over to the side and bring in my big mixing bowl so the first thing we're going to do, all-purpose flour. I love this stuff. This is stuff I just found. It's uh, Bob's Red Mill, and he makes all different kinds of flours and bacon stuff. Well, I think it tastes the best. I don't know, it could be wrong. Two cups of that. So we're just going to do the uh, rough, there's no weighing flour. I've seen people weighing flour and stuff, and that looks way too good. We're just doing the... Uh, Bacon level this type of way and here we have the white flour and now again Paul's red yep he's got a wheat one too it just seems good high quality so I'm gonna do two cups of that one and two I'm already making a mess that's what I do. All right. Now we're going to add the uh, half a cup of oatmeal. This is just oatmeal that you get the uh, Quaker stuff, the one-minute stuff or whatever. That's all I've been using. So 
seems to work good spread that out there there's no yeast in this bread at all which is cool when I was trying to do bread originally I was looking for yeast everywhere and it's like uh, I could have found like you know unbelievably illicit drugs a lot easier yeast was was the most difficult thing to find in fact it would have been a great business to start funny I knew how they made it I might have made it you know I know it's in beer but uh, that's where I stopped with my knowledge okay so now I'm going to add the salt and all this recipe will be posted later so don't worry I could be screwing it up as I'm saying it even it's quite possible and then here's the baking soda that goes in now I found from this great fellow online he uses the, the uh, handle of a, of a what, is, what is this thing called again uh, a wooden spoon he uses the handle of it because it's like a dough hook or something so it's kind of handy it doesn't get all clumped around the top of it I think it's good to pick her up and if I make any more bread videos I'll show you how I use it even better in other recipes that's all nicely mixed now we want to take the buttermilk and add the molasses just to the buttermilk this is some treacly thick gooey stuff it gets everywhere if you're not careful I've tried to control it and then you mix that all in there and it sort of ends up almost looking like a lovely chocolate milk it probably tastes something like that too it's molasses sugar bomb they say the uh, camera adds 10 pounds this bread probably do that too although there is wheat in it I think the problem with brown bread is not so much the bread it's the fact that Irish people we like to put about an inch of Kerrygold Irish butter on top of it and marmalade and that's probably where it loses some of its nutritional value shall we say all right, see that? Lovely. Okay, move that over there. Bring back in the, the good stuff. Now, we're gonna make a little hole in the middle of this. I'm looking around as I go to see if I forgot to put it in here. I don't think so. Make a little hole in the middle it seems to be the, uh, the way everybody does it. And we pour in the goop. goes and now we just start mixing it again I just like the uh, handle thing I was trying to do it with other mixers and it was getting stuck to everything and you'd have huge clumps of the mixture on a wooden spoon or on a mixing thing I don't have a dough machine obviously I'm not quite that, I haven't gone that deep yet into bread making but you never know I have been eyeing Croissants, yeah. I'm thinking about going and even bagels. I'm thinking about making bagels. But uh, let's focus and see if we can do this right first. So here we go. Now you see it's not a lot of liquid for an awful lot of flour. This is always the interesting bit. It does eventually look right, but you really do have to work it in pretty heavily. And usually what I do about halfway through spatula. Oops. A mess. I sort of scrape in the rest of the flour into it. Try to combine it all. And we just keep going. Now comes the fun bit where you realize you just you're gonna get most of it like this, but you're not gonna get it all. This is where I use my very clean hands to get dug in get this whole thing together it's still very wet it's just not grabbing the rest of the dry flour it's kind of turning the wet parts of it into the don't make any strange jokes when I'm doing this it's just best to stay very flat and use baking turns so as you see it's starting to all become one this is a, those of you who know the cook out there, never mind the comments about technique or whatever, this is not technique, and I'm certainly not telling you this is how you should do it. I'm just saying if you do it this way, you will eventually end up with bread, but I'm sure there's better ways to combine all this stuff. 
that I just don't know. But it's almost all in there now. Still a little bit of dry. Probably fast forward through this bit on the video, but maybe not. Maybe seeing me struggle is part of the excitement. Watching the complete disaster unfold. All right. Not too shabby. Now, luckily I remember to bring a towel. Because I'm going to need it. Because I'm covered in this stuff now. Okay, so there we go. Now move this out of the way. This stuff I'm going to bring in my handy dandy bowl. Uh, board. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on this just to... We're going to be doing a little bit more. Manipulating. Oh, I almost slipped into my baguette recipe. Little French accent, my baguette. No, nobody needs to see that or hear it. All right, here we go. And that's what you got. And now I'm just sort of rolling it in the flour to make sure it's all a little bit more handle, handle, bu -bu -bu -bu. easier to handle is the word I'm looking for. I'm not really needing it. I mean, I guess I am. But it's not part, there's no amount of, of this you have to do. It's just to try to make it one big solid ball without a whole bunch of cracks and stuff in it. That's kind of what I do. I try to combine it all. Anyhow, once you're at this stage then, now what we want to do is get it into a ball. See little cracks I try to almost like plastering something. And so as you do this, you start to work it down, push out, and you want it to be about an inch and a half tall. And a nice circle. Recipe fly, they might want to go. They first have a brown bread with a strange black dot in the middle of it. All right, so that's kind of what it should look like. Now, you'll be preheating your oven to 450, which I've done, but here's the best part of this recipe, I think. The part I love is you put a big cross on the top of it. Now, is there religious significance? I don't know. I've heard it helps the bread bake in the center a bit better, but I suppose when I first saw it in Ireland, I did sort of think maybe it was a, supposed to be a cross as a part of it, like, thank you above for providing this food or something. But anyway, you dig it fairly deep, not all the way through, but fairly deep cross in the top over to the edge. And that's it. Now, the next part, we've got my baking tray, some parchment paper on it, stop it sticking. And I found out, um, a lot of the stuff I'm telling you is for people like me who haven't a clue how to bake. When I first did this, I was looking around for parchment paper and I'm like, no parchment paper, but oh, I have wax paper. And so I put wax paper on and yeah, those of you who realize, what I did, wax paper's flammable, and you don't really put wax paper in the oven. It burns, and the house is burned down, and you're left there with all your precious belongings gone, eating a slice of brown bread. You know, not good. So, don't do that. Parchment paper, you can just oil it up a little bit or whatever. That'll probably be just as good. And there we are. All right, I'm gonna go stick it in the oven. 40, 450 degrees. Uh, I believe I cook it for 15 minutes at that, and then I drop it down to 400 degrees. Uh, and if you're in Ireland and you're dealing with Celsius, tough shite. You'll have to look it up on your phone, because I have no idea what the conversion is. And I could do it and post it here or here, maybe like right now, right behind me or something. You see, you go, oop, oop, you know, out of my arms. Maybe there is, a, uh, there is a way for me to post that, and I'll try. But we're dealing with cups and ounces and uh, Fahrenheit for this. Stick it in there, 
Uh, I think you then, as I said, 450 for 15 minutes, and then another 20 to 25 minutes at 400. And then we're going to take it out, and I'm going to hope this hasn't all been for nothing, and there isn't actually a loaf of bread at the end of it. And then I will be bringing bread to the world. My guitar can't make me any bread right now, but these hands can. Be right back. All right, I'm back and I'm shocked. I am truly shocked, as I know you will be. I'm going to have to use my little uh, hot handling stuff because the bread is ready. And dun, 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 dun. look at that. That is a loaf of ice brown bread right there, folks. Got the hollow sound for it. So do you want to look for there she is. Unbelievable that I did it, so you can do it. I mean, if you ever doubted yourself, now you know. If this Egypt can make brown bread, you can do it too. Now, to have the brown bread enjoy correctly, we're going to, uh, it's kind of very hot still right now, so I'm not sure if I should cut into it, but I really want to. Mm. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to cut a little piece off the edge here. Look at that. Delicious. If it's morning time, you can have a nice cup of coffee. But brown bread can be eaten pretty much any time you want. So, brown bread can also be enjoyed with uh, another of our country's delights. Yep. It's uh, the beauty of brown bread. It really just goes with uh, many, many things. And, uh, you know, as long as it's, you know, past 8 a.m., I think it's the official time, you really shouldn't. shouldn't have a pint before 8 a.m. unless you're still drinking from the night before. And then all bets are off. <laughs> so we're going to let that settle. Another thing that goes really good with brown bread, so it's inside here. That's right. Gift I got from Chris Savage. Thank you, Chris. It's now full of uh, delights. Also good with brown bread. This would be more a like an 11 a.m. type thing. <sighs> yeah. Woo! Or for the more sophisticated amongst us, perhaps just a little drop of red with your brown bread. And so, here we go. Wow. Had like a Ramsey moment. Delicious melt in your mouth. Images Ireland and um, cliffs. Running down from mountains with sticks, attacking Romans and English. It all comes to you. Oh, it's just really good brown bread. So there you have it, folks. Cheers. How to make Irish brown bread. And uh, stay tuned, I'll, I'll do more if you want and show you how I can uh, really mess up some other recipes big time. All right, good luck, stay safe.